Hey everybody, Barry here again. We're back at the shop. We're gonna check on the block and see what it looks like. Here we go. Nice and clean, like spotless inside. That's what I like to see. Some plug these fans. A little bit dusty looking, but maybe that's just the tint of the aluminum gone from dirt and abrasion over the years. But it's like insanely clean. And that's what I like. Everything down here is all nice and dry. I'm gonna blow through all the oil galleries that I can get at, like here and over here where it comes off the oil pump and down through the oil pan ports here. Just make sure there's no water or dirt or anything left in there. Canadian hot tank. <laughs> And our crosshatch looks fine. Might have went a little bit tight, not really the 60 degrees that you want to see, but yeah, that'll work perfectly fine for what I'm at. I'm not using new rings, so I'm not worried about trying to break them in and stuff. And we have the same thing up here, nice and dry. I wonder why there's a flat spot here with no oil in it because it looks like oil sits here next step block off all these DOD ports so we don't lose oil pressure up through here I already have a pan and the valley cover done from the last time I did my DOD delete video so I'll just go ahead and use that pan on it I got the uh, oil in to the pan that would run oil from here out to each individual port I got that one already blocked off so Moving along. Today, we're going to paint this block. So I'm getting tired of it looking like old aluminum. So, it's gonna be purple before the day is out. Also, between coats, waiting for the paint to dry, I might start balancing these pistons or cleaning up the crank. Cause this one is the one that I took out of the engine I had home. We can see here that this is a Gen 4 crank because it's 58X. Here's our Gen 3 crank that we need, 24X. It's got different cam sensor, or sorry, different crank sensor ports on it. Same crank other than that. 1255, 2216 is the part number on this one. And the same on this one, so we know it's the same crank. That's the 5360 and 62 crank just different reluctor so let's get at it Ready for some paint. I'm gonna put down a silver base coat, the same thing as what I did with the metal cast paint. This isn't metal cast paint, but I put down a real nice even coat where we've got some lighter looking here and darker there, that kind of thing. So it'll make it really nice and even. So there won't be any tint differences in the paint. Let's go ahead and give it a spray.
Base coat is laid out. This would look really, really nice, just silver. <laughs> but it's going purple. Really nice and even. This is what I like about these aluminum blocks. There's, there's no rust, there's no flaky rust to be making it uneven looking or just not, you know, not look good. There's, there's, there's nothing, it's just aluminum. I'm gonna just do one base coat because it's actually even enough that I'm happy with it. So I'll let this dry and I'm gonna start balancing the pistons, I think. That way, when it's ready, I can clean up the crank, throw that in, and have my rings already gapped, and then we'll have a bottom end rotating assembly. I also brought in the cam. This is the LS7 cam. I can turn it over, there we go. I'll do measurements on it just to show what it is and stuff. We'll have an engine together in no time. Well, I went to use the scales and it won't turn on. Energizer batteries, come on, man. Make something that doesn't leak. This is what happens when you don't change your oil. I just scrape that off the crank. Couldn't balance my pistons because the scales are messed up, so I went and cleaned the crank. Look at it scraped off. That is disgusting. That's 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 nasty oil. Anyway, so I got that in soaking some degreaser. But I'm getting excited. Let's put some purple on this thing, see what we got. That looks insane already. God, I love it. Man, does that ever look good. This was the color that I wanted to find for Cass's Cadillac. This was it. God, it looks good. I only got one coat done. It's not even completely covered yet. I'm probably gonna do three coats, but man, I'm happy with that. This aluminum block is miles ahead of iron block stuff. Wicked. Got some scalding hot water put in there with uh, dish liquid, brake cleaner, spray nine, and everything cleaner. <laughs> so we'll come back in a couple hours and see what it looks like. Looks like some stuff is already starting to bubble off. Sweet. I'll come back in a couple hours and just turn the crank upside down, put the other half in, see what we got. Looks like we're all done for today. Got the engine over here, away from all the fumes and the vapors from cleaning and degreasing the crank over here. I'm insanely happy with how that looks. It looks wicked. I think tomorrow what I'm gonna do is get the crank completely ready. And then when the block is dry, I'll go ahead and gap all the rings, have those ready. And when I come up with a set of scales or fix the old ones, then I'll get everything all balanced up. So that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.